Under the administration's new southbound policy, national tourism authorities are aiming to bring in more visitors from South and Southeast Asia to set off the drop in tour groups arriving from China. Speaking at an industry forum today, Transportation Minister He Chandan stressed that tourism figures haven't dropped this year, although his claims were challenged by some businesses in the sector. The major target of recent tourism promotions has been Southeast Asian countries. The new push hasn't been limited to Taipei's attempts to attract Muslim visitors. The Transportation Ministry also invited a group of academics, officials and tourism businesses to a special forum today to discuss new approaches. We are targeting the friends and family members of new immigrants and students as potential visitors. If we can gain traction with this group, we will see a big increase in the number of tourists coming who are already somewhat familiar with Taiwan and feel comfortable here. Transportation Minister He Chandan said that the value of tourism to Taiwan this year has already reached 500 billion NT dollars, representing a 3% growth over the same period last year. Signs seem mixed, though, with one tourism company having shown off a photo of a deserted airport concourse taken at a typical peak time. In fact, it's pretty terrible. First of all, the number of people we're sending out on tours has declined. And secondly, the number of people coming to Taiwan has been in an obvious decline. So far, the effectiveness of the administration's tourism approach under its new southbound policy has yet to be confirmed. And many in the industry are still skeptical that it will bear fruit.